is that transition? I mean, you saw the financial regulations as they went on in the wake of the crisis of 2008. Uh, and now there's a move to deregulate. You're representing clients who would just as soon not be subject to regulation. How does it feel? Well, I think what banks want to do is do the right thing. And I think they want to do the right thing by their consumers. Uh, one of the things financial regulation did was level the playing field for banks and non-banks. And I got to tell you, in a time of change, that's when every bank needs their lawyers. And Buckley Sandler's <laughs> really excelled at that, uh, at advising their clients in a time of dramatic change, not just in regulation, but in the way money moves and the way the business works. But, but some of your big bank clients must be in favor of what President Trump is trying to do with deregulation. Well, I think what we got to see is what's the form of deregulation. Right. You know, and I think the banks want to know what that form of deregulation is, too. Do you think it went too far? That Dodd-Frank? No, no, in general, financial regulation. I mean, Dan Tarullo is someone we've had on, who is certainly responsible for regulation. And he says at the Fed, they probably went too far in some respects, and maybe they should dial back in some. So here's the thing. In every time this country has ever passed a new regulatory regime, we can go all the way back to the Securities Acts in 33 and 34. It takes a period of time for the regulators to figure out how to implement it, for the businesses to adjust. Um, we need to tweak the laws as they go along. This is no different. And the choice shouldn't be an absolute, it's either here or it's not at all. Um, the real choice is to find the right balance between good business and you know, fair regulation. So 